So how do we diagnose keratoconus? Well, really, keratoconus is part of a continuum. At one end of the spectrum, we have the majority of people who have normal, thick corneas. This is the window at the front of the eye. They have a regular shaped cornea, and it gives them good optics. At the other end of the spectrum, we have patients with keratoconus. It's a conical cornea. So the window at the front of the eye is distorted, it's thin, it's steeper in the lower part, and it isn't good for looking through. It distorts the light. And there's everything in between. Um, we have patients who attend the Custom Vision Clinic wanting independence from spectacles, wanting to get out of their contact lenses. And one of the very important tests that we do is a topography scan, looking at the front and back layers of the cornea to make sure that they're not somewhere along that continuum, that they're not showing some signs of very early keratoconus. I met a lovely lady uh, last Friday, short-sighted, no history of any kind of problems, and the scan on her left eye showed that she had very, very mild keratoconus. The key thing for me was to reassure her that at the age of 30, as she was, she isn't going to develop any kind of problem from that left eye. It's okay, providing no one performs laser eye surgery on it, because when we perform laser eye surgery, by definition, we make the cornea very slightly weaker, and you could destabilize an eye which has those very mild changes of keratoconus, such as that lady had in her left eye. But she's normal, but just along that continuum.